Good morning, I'm Eric Hendrickson. Recovery continues following last week's earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Officials report more than 34,000 have died. Researchers around the world are trying to get a better understanding of why these quakes happen and potentially forecast them. I spoke with researchers from the University of Texas whose work may help us do just that. With more than 20,000 earthquakes every year, researchers know what caused them. Earthquake is directly the cause of plate tectonics. But they can't predict them. Plate tectonics is the movement of the large plates that make up the Earth's crust. It's just kind of like a boat like traveling on water. Julian Hua with UT Austin studies that water, known as the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is a layer that allows the tectonic plates to move above it. About 100 miles beneath our feet, and it's the source of magma. It's a syrup-like layer, but thicker. The tectonic plate is like a plastic uh, plate, and you put that on a syrup, and you try to kind of like move that plastic plate, so that will certainly drag like those really sticky syrup like y y in some way. Which creates deformities in the surface of the asthenosphere. And that actually affects how we expect the plates to move with respect to each other. Understanding what influences this movement is vital. So what we are trying to know is whether or not if we are adding something else into those syrup, how will the, that change this motion? Using over 700 seismic stations from around the world, Wa found partially melted pockets in the asthenosphere. Partial melt is just meaning anything that's a mixture of solid and melted rock. While scientists have theorized these pockets have existed before, Wa mapped them, finding therein kind of like half of it. Wa needed to know, are they impacting the way the plates move? Here we are like solving like one part of plate tectonics. Studying seismic readings. Mostly what we are showing here is that what's really determining uh, how easy these things are deformed is still the solid thing instead of those melting rock. Meaning these pockets don't influence plate movement. With this data, scientists can build better computer models for plate movement, and it will help our better understand the plate tectonics and all the consequences. Which, just like in a weather forecast, could eventually be used in forecasting earthquakes. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.